Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. In the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And if someone wanted to do a uh, a short lesson, man, and, and you're going to see once I put it all together uh, with the thumbnail why I was inspired to do it. And the only ones who are looking for this glorious future that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has waiting for us truly is the remnant of the nation of Israel. You got all these camps, <clears throat> these other camps outside of GMS and our affiliate brothers. Come with all type of madness. They want to argue about keeping the law to perfection. They don't want to give you the true name of the Most High. Just basically, they're looking for vain glory, and a lot of them do it, are doing it for fifty lucre's sake, man. But the true believers, man, the remnant of the nation of Israel, those who are actually serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah in all truth and sincerity, all we're looking for is to be saved, man. We're looking, we're looking to be saved and to be taken away from this condition as the Most High has promised us, and that's what we stick to. We stick to to what the prophecy says. We 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 focus <clears throat> on the end game, and that's the expected end that the Most High is bringing us into. And a lot of us brothers, man, we're longing for uh for our children. You see, for our children to be safe, for our, for for us once again to be taken out of this condition, so we won't have to worry about our children being preyed upon, being shot up with all type of fucking vaccinations, fucking being molested by these perverts out here, being preyed upon by these perverts out here, snatched up and kidnapped to be sacrificed and all type of madness that our children suffer on a daily basis. And that's what that's one of the one of the things that we're fighting for as the servants of Yahweh Ba Shimi <clears throat> for our, for our children to be safe, man. You see and for us to have many children, beautiful you know what I'm saying? Precious princes and princesses, man. This is what we're longing for. And that's what the Most High promised that he was going to give us when we come into our kingdom. We're going to have many, many children, man. Let's get Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. And this is what everything is happening on the earth for. For the, for the remnant of the nation of Israel. And then eventually... The, Eventually, the entire nation to to be brought into the expected end that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has for us. See, thoughts of peace and not of evil. All these things we see our people suffer on a daily basis, man, is all going to be taken away from us. You see, we're all going to be taken away from that. Being delivered from this low condition that we're in. You see, and, and, and when it's all said and done, we're going to be able to be true fathers in our kingdom, man. And, and a lot of brothers are longing for that. To be true, true fathers, to bring forth a lot of children with our wives, man. We're longing for this. So for all you women out here talking about we hate women, that's a damn lie. We hate out of order women. We're longing for our wives to be put back in that righteous order, for our children to be safe and sound and just can explore the planet Earth, you see, and not have to worry about anything, man. And that's what's coming. This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has promised to his people, beginning with the remnant. You see, because it tells us in Isaiah 60 real quick. Isaiah 60 and 22 says what? This is a part of that expected end the most High is, is going to bring us into. Isaiah 60 and 22. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one. a Yeah, and it's so like it. Isaiah 60 and 22. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. I, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, will hasten it in his time. And this is what the Most High is going to bring us into when we're finally into that, when we enter into that glory. One man is going to become a thousand. By what? By having many children with his wives. Wives, W-I-V-E-S. 
Because we're going to have multiple wives in our kingdom. Because we have a lot of Israelites to bring back into the earth. We have to repopulate our nation back into the earth, man. So we're going to have many, many, many wives and many, many, many beautiful and precious children, man. That one man is going to be a nation. His family is going to be a nation. This is how many children that we're going to be bringing forth in the kingdom of heaven. And, no, hey, and none of them are going to be any uh, feeling type of harm or danger or be molested or kidnapped or sacrificed as they're suffering in this world, man. This is this is one of the many things that we're fighting for as the true servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah for our children to be safe. And according to prophecy, this is exactly what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to allow to happen once we're brought into the fullness of that glory. Now, it's not going to be a long lesson. I'm probably just going to wrap it up after this one, because I just man, it was just I was just meditating on it, and it's going to be it's going to be beautiful, man. Listen to this. This is Isaiah 11 and 6 says what? The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. All these different wild beasts. And our children are going to be able to be safe around them. Going to be able to play with them as they're playing with a domesticated dog or cat. This is how safe our children are going to be in the woodlands. If you take your child out here now and allow them to play with a lion, best believe it's going to get ate up. That won't be a thing in our kingdom, though, man. Our children are going to be safe and sound, free from child molesters and pedophiles and predators and kidnappers and all manner of, uh, of evil is going to be kept away from our children because we're going to be in a state of peace. That goes into that expected end that the Most High has for his people. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. You see that? Verse 7 says what? And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like an, like the ox. All that shit that you see on National Geographic and um, all these animal documentaries, that's going to be left here in this kingdom. In our kingdom, all the animals are going to be able to congregate together and get along. You see? No more seeing lions hunt down gazelles, so forth and so on. That's going to be a thing of the past because we're about to usher in the kingdom of peace. Where everything's going to be put back into his righteous state, man. You see? <laughs> now listen, verse 8 says what? And the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp. An asp is a poisonous snake. You see? A sucking child shall play on the hole of an asp. A child is still on his mother's breast. Gonna be able to play with poisonous snakes and not have to worry about anything. It says, "Well, and the wing and the wing child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den." Our children gonna be in complete safety when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai establishes our kingdom, man, as He's promised to do. This is what we're longing for. This is one of the many things that we fight for as the true servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You got these other camps out here who are talking about 10, 15, 20 years from now in America. They don't want their children to be safe. They don't want their children to be saved. They, they, don't, they don't want their children to be in a state of uh, tranquility and peace as the Most High has promised. Because if you really did, you would be in the spirit of hastening the coming of the Lord, man. You would be in the spirit of prophesying the death, downfall, and destruction of America. Because we know and understand that after this place is taken down, what we're going to be brought into it allows our children to be safe. It allows us to be in peace. Our entire nation, man. Every Israelite man, woman, and child are going to be in a state of peace in the kingdom of heaven. Finally taken away from all these curses that we've been suffering as a nation of people for so long now. This is what we fight for as the true servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see? And this is how safe we're going to be. Children playing with poisonous snakes. Being able to lead lions and tigers and bears and all type of shit. This is what's coming, man. And we are going to continue to fight for this, man. Wholeheartedly. May Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah allow us to endure. Verse 9 says what? 
They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. And why is that? It's because we're going to be back on top as the supreme nation, and we're going to teach righteousness to all the heathen nations, man. As it tells you in Isaiah chapter 2, also in Micah chapter 4. Righteousness is going to flourish in the earth. The wisdom, not the understanding of the Most High. You see, it's going to be the only understanding in the earth. The righteous way, the way of life. You see, the proper instruction given unto us by the Almighty God, Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. But this is what's coming, man, and we long to see it. And it's, it's going to happen very soon. So for all you cats who are out, uh, outside of the uh, doing, trying to do your own thing, Moving contrary to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, he's just going to get rid of you and continue on with his remnant, you see, until we're fulfilling the rest of these prophecies, man. You see? As the most high spoken. And so with that, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of Le'akim out there, pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Baba, Baba.